Good afternoon, guys. How's everyone doing on this Monday afternoon? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all in the best of health, best of wealth. Hope you're being the best version of yourself you could possibly be. Welcome to my channel, guys. Joey Barnett TV, where I like to upload as much content as I possibly can, bearing in mind I've got a lot of commitments away from YouTube. Um, you know, we've got our grandson living with us full time. I've got a job. Uh, I've got quite a few hobbies hobbies going on. So, yeah, I do try and upload as much as I possibly can. But family comes first, I'm afraid to say. And um, when it comes when it comes to YouTube, I don't understand how people, you know, expect to earn a good wage out of YouTube unless you've got hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you know, because it's pennies. It really is pennies. And yeah, that's all I've got to say about that matter, guys. Anyway, what I want to have a little chat with you is, is about today about is, let me slow down a bit and get my words right. What I want to have a chat with you about is a little bit about prison, a little bit about what would go on in prison if something a certain thing happened or s certain things went on or someone come in for a naughty charge. Um, now, not all of us old school blaggers have the same values, but I think you'll find 90% of us probably do. Um, first of all, to be an old school blagger, yeah, you know, you've got to have gone across the pavement, you've got to have gone into a post office, gone into a bank, done security vans, that's what I call an old school blagger, not someone what goes into an off license, a petrol garage at a supermarket and um, robs money for drugs, that's not what I call an old school blagger guys, it really ain't, um, so yeah, that we're um, far and few between these days um, and that's why I like uploading content really because I know you guys wait for it, so yeah I've done really well this year, you know, this year for me has been probably one of the best years in the last 10 years, the last decade, I must admit, you know, I've um, I've got myself a truck, you know, I'm an author, I've got myself back to work again, we've got ourselves, our grandson living with us full time, I've got very good friends around me, lovely family, you know, um, and things are going really, really nice in life for me, they really are, and that all boils down to me, myself, wanting to change, wanting to change my mindset, wanting to be the best version of myself I could possibly be. And I'm 55 and I thought to myself, surely I've got to give myself 10 years. Because I don't live, I don't expect to live past 65, to be honest with you. I, my mum and my dad died young. Uh, although I'm healthy, yes, I am healthy. But, you know, it's a big ask for me to live 60, past 65. So that's why I decided to change my mindset and to reform myself and, and give myself, you know, a good 10 years of being clean, a good 10 years of living a good life, you know, a comfortable life. and you know, what I spoke about yesterday on my um, last video, actually, what I've done was uh, a lot of youngsters think that the world owes him things, that like the world should drop at their feet. In reality, that don't happen. You know, if you want something, it ain't going to drop at your feet. No one owes you nothing. You know, you've got to go out there, put yourself out there. Sometimes you've got to put blood, sweat and tears into whatever you want to achieve. And that's what I did. And that's what I've done for the last few years, guys. So, um, yeah. This is what you can achieve, guys. And if you change your mindset and decide that you want to knock it all on the head, you know, t turn the leaf, turn a new leaf and um, bits and pieces like that. So, yeah, we're three minutes in now, guys. You know me. I don't like uh, making my videos short because where I'm not uploading much content lately because I'm working, I'll try and keep the video at least five minutes long, to be honest with you. So give you a little bit of juice, bit of juicy bit of juicy uh, background of me, you know, um, and it's not always about prison, you know, I do sometimes talk about my work, I, t I sometimes talk about family, I bring a whole heap of different content to my channel, and it's all 110% honesty, it's all 110% no bullshit, um, I wouldn't talk about someone behind their back, um, you know, without saying it to their face, I'm one of them types of guys, you know, I do wear my heart on my sleeve, yes, I have got emotions, you know, um, but I'm one of them types of guys, I don't like people who talk behind people's backs, now, let's get that cleared up, so what I want to have a little chat with you about now is how, for me, not for all old school, old school chaps, but for me, yeah, this is how dispersals worked for me, if you come into a dispersal, you wasn't known, and you know, 
you couldn't be vouched for. You would have had you would have had to produce your depths. And when I say depths, I mean your stat your your statements, your previous convictions. Um, for you to be allowed to mix with the likes of people like me, you know, because if for me, if someone come into a dispersal jail and I didn't know them or anyone what I knew didn't know them, they was they was a suspect. Yeah. That's how my mindset was, you know, and, and I'm still like it today in, in everything what I do, you know. I do talk to people, of course I do, I'm a friendly type of a guy, but I'm I'm a very private guy and I don't like spilling all my beans and putting all my eggs in one basket. Um but yeah, talk about dispersal now. So, as I said, if you'd have come in dispersal, not known, you'd have had to produce your depths or statements. If you couldn't do that, you was gone, one of them ones. Let's, that's the first thing. The second thing is, if anyone, and I mean anyone, it doesn't matter how, how high up the chain you was, even if you was a top, top blagger, old school blagger, doing security vans, banks, post office, whatever you, whatever you was doing, yeah? If you come in for harming a woman, a woman, a child, or an elderly person. Now, let me say that again. If you come in jail, in my world, for harming a woman, a child, or an elderly person, me, myself, I would have waited, plotted up on you, got a, a jug of boiling hot water with a pound of sugar in it, and if, you know, then that would have been you. That would have been it. I would have done you with that, you know, back in the day. That's how my mindset was. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, these days in jail, I'm not going to go into politics about religion and stuff like that, but in jail, it's, it's more like a religious war in there now. Um, it's us against them. It's them against us. It's, you know, that's how it's getting in there now. So it's a very, very changed place. Ain't like it used to be. It really ain't. And what I'm trying to say is, um, Nowadays, people are going into jail for naughty charges, yeah? Charges what would have got you completely served up back in the day. And what they're doing now is they're jumping straight into that little firm, the religious firm, to back them up, you know? And that's the truth of the matter. I'm not going to mention what religion it is, but that's the truth, you know? Eight out of ten of these people in this religion are in there for naughty charges. And, you know, as soon as they go to jail, they join this religion... And bang, you know, I've got a, I've got a naughty little firm around them, and that's the truth of the matter, guys. But yeah, going back to women, children, and elderly people, yeah. If you'd have been in there, if you'd have come in jail for harming any of them, let alone beating them up, yeah, you'd have got served up. End of. You know, I'm not talking about any anyone in particular whatsoever. What I'm saying is, this was what it was like where I come from. Yeah, guys. Um, so that's all I'm going to say on that matter. Anyway, I'm going to be uploading more content in a bit, as you can see. I'm on a roll, so I hope you enjoy my content, and um, I'll be back at you soon. Peace.